Okay, in this particular question, um, we have two absolute value signs. Um, what we're going to do is look at all of the combinations that can happen there. Now remember our original definition of absolute value of x was that it equaled x if it was a positive number or zero. It equaled the opposite of x if it was a negative number. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking at as working out with both of these. Now, the absolute value of e plus 5 could be e plus 5. Or it could be the opposite of e plus 5. The absolute value of e plus 2, well, it could be e plus 2, and that e plus 2 could be with either one of these, or it could be the opposite of e plus 2. And it could then be that with either one of these. So you end up with four equations. So here they're both positive. Here it's a negative and a positive. Here it's a positive and a negative. Here they're both negative. Okay, so that gives you your four different types. Let's solve each one and see what we have. This gives us e plus 5, e plus 2, less than or equal to 5. 2e here, take those guys to the other side, and we have 5 minus 5 minus 2. So we get 2e is less than or equal to negative 2. Divide this side by 2 and this side by 2, and we get e less than or equal to negative 1. Okay. This would be negative e subtract 5 plus e plus 2 less than or equal to 5. Now right away we're going to run into a problem because this guy and this guy cancel. So we'd be left on the left hand side with negative 3 on the right hand side with positive 5. And negative 3 and positive five, less than or equal to positive 5, that's always true. Okay, no matter which value of e you throw in, it's always true. Okay. The third equation. Again, we have the same sort of thing. The opposite of e is negative e. Opposite of plus 2 is negative 2. And when we simplify that, these guys cancel. And we get 3 is less than or equal to 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. Again, that's always true. No matter which value of e you put in. And this one. We get the opposite of e, the opposite of plus 5, plus the opposite of e, the opposite of plus 2, is less than or equal to 5. Negative 2e is less than or equal to 5. Take these guys over to the other side and they both become positive. Negative 2e less than or equal to 12. Now we're dividing both sides by a negative number, so we have to switch that around. Okay. Therefore, our final result is e less than or equal to negative 1 and e uh, less than or equal to, sorry, negative 1 and e is greater than or equal to negative 6. Okay, if you look at a 
got a chart here. You're looking at everything within that range on that chart. Okay. So negative six less than or equal to x less than or equal to negative one is the answer to that question.